Good morning my dear friends. Welcome you all to my YouTube channel. So in this video we are going to see the sizing of GRP tank, PVC tank and RCC uh, tank based on Qatar Karama, Abu Dhabi and Dubai municipality regulations. And along with the tank sizing uh, we will see the some additional requirements like minimum and maximum storage capacities and tank height restriction etc. And one important thing is at the end of this video I am going to ask a technical question related to tank location and I will give the answer in the next video for that question ok so let's start the video so this is one of the sample project it's an office building in this project the line from the municipality is coming from here and this line is filling the water supply tank located in the ground floor ok so total building has the total project has a G the ground floor plus first floor and there is a roof Okay, so this line is filling the groundwater tank. This is the concrete tank, RCC tank. And from here, there is a transfer pump located here. This transfer pump uh, transfer the water to the roof tank through this piping line. And from the roof tank, we have the booster pump. This booster pump transfer the water to different fixers. So as you know, this is the basic concept of plumbing. And in this video, I am going to cover the design of these two tanks with the different materials. RCC tank, GRP, PVC tanks. So, let's see how it is done. So, there are different GCC countries have their uh, own requirement like daily rate of consumption as you see here. So, uh, the first one is the Abu Dhabi Regulation and Supervision Bureau. So, they have given here the daily rate of consumption for the different applications. Okay. So, for the example in this uh, video, I am going to consider one, ex uh, one application like office building and I am going to compare the water consumption of uh, the office building with the different GCC standards and we will finalize the design. Okay. And the next one is, uh, this is uh, Dubai Electricity and Water Authority, water uh, consumption requirement. So, here also different applications are there and the water consumption value is mentioned here. And the third one is, it is uh, Qatar Karama guidelines. So, in Qatar Karama, there are two categories like domestic category, as you see here, it is a domestic category and this one is the non-domestic category. Okay, so in the domestic category, we can see the residential building, uh, Qatari villas, labor accommodation and mixed use residential. Mostly, only the residential parts will come in the domestic category. Category. In the non-domestic category, all others like the commercial buildings, uh, office, school, university, all other things will come in the uh, non-domestic category. Okay. So, coming to Saudi, Saudi building code SBC 701 that is for the plumbing, uh, SBC 702 that is for the drainage, uh, there is uh, there are no specific requirements uh, about the daily water consumption. Okay. For, so, for the Saudi building code generally, uh, it is uh, like uh, same of uh, IPC, international, uh, international Plumbing Code. So, whatever there in the international plumbing uh, plumbing plumbing code is uh, simply taken from there and it is there in the Saudi building code with some additional requirements but as I mentioned the daily water consumption is not there in the Saudi building code so uh, whenever I execute the project uh, we have the project specification in which we can see the daily water consumption value and we can take that value for the sizing of the tank. So, this is the office building uh, for our exercise. So, let, let me show you the water consumption of different codes. The first one is the, like uh, Abu Dhabi. Uh, so, office building, the water consumption is, so daily water demand is 45 liter we need to consider for a day. For one person, okay. For one person, it is 45 liter per day okay water consumption and similar way if you go to dubai and for the office building you can see it is 45 to 60 liter per day okay so like this if you go to um, qatar karama and for the office building you can see it is 60 to 80 liter okay so uh, for the uh, for the design point of view uh, you can see sometime like uh, many uh, engineers consider the minimum value or maximum value so there is no uh, there is no restriction like you can consider the minimum 60 liter or you can consider maximum 60 uh, 80 liter from here sometime uh, i see like the people consider the mid of these two for example here it is 60 to 80 liter we can consider 70 liter also so uh, for me always i prefer to go with the, the lowest one like a 60 liter in this case okay so this is the office building for our exercise and the total uh, occupant the total person for the office i consider 31 number actually uh, in the last video regarding occupant load calculation i explained how to find out the occupant load using different methods so that is required to size the tank uh, if you have not seen that video please watch that for clear understanding okay 
Uh, so here uh, we are going to do the same uh, exercise with the Qatar Karama regulation. So if you understand the concept, that is enough. enough. So whatever the uh, standard you follow in your uh, place, uh, you can uh, apply this concept to uh, size the tank. Okay. So let's see. So here, uh, as per the Karama, so what they have mentioned is for the office building, the tank capacity we need to for, for the tank capacity the daily water consumption for the office building 60 to 80 liter. Okay, so that is 60 to 80 liter and we have total 31 people, the 31 people like 18 people for the uh, permanent one, 12 people for the temporary visitors and office room people and one people for the reception. This one you can get from the uh, coupon load uh, using our, uh, you can see the last video. So here uh, total we get 1860 liter per day. Okay. And second thing is uh, the groundwater tank should have minimum two days storage capacity. Okay. So the total answer 1860 liter into two days, we get 3720 liter that is equal to 3.72 meter cube. Okay. So this is the size of the, uh, so this is the capacity of the water storage tank located in the ground. So you know that the tank volume is uh, V is equal to length width into height. Okay, in meter and in our case the tank is located in the basement and the total height of basement floor is 4 meter. Okay, so GRP tank sizing, the tank volume we get from the calculation 3.72 meter cube. Okay, so the tank height assumed as 1 meter. In our case, I assumed as 1 meter, but uh, practically if you see that like uh, if the height exceeds 2.5 meter, uh, it is very difficult to operate the uh, overflow and supply connection walls. Okay, in case uh, open or closing a valve is required. Okay, so there are diff uh, local codes uh, have different uh, requirements. For example, if you see this uh, Abu Dhabi code, so what they have mentioned here is uh, based on Abu Dhabi standard for the GRP tank, the tank height should not exceed. 4, uh, 4000 mm or 4 meter. Okay. So, similar way, uh, if you go to uh, Karama or Qatar uh, standard and they have mentioned the for the above ground tank, the inlet height should not exceed 3 meter. Okay. So, that means uh, for example, here the section uh, view of the tank and we have the inlet connection with the floating wall and they are telling that inlet connection should not exceed 3 meter. Okay. So, that's the case. That means uh, what they are trying to say uh, do uh, trying to say here is from the inlet connection this height the total height it should not exceed 3 meter okay so that's the rule okay so anyway uh, it's indirectly is a way to say that uh, you know that uh, at this space it is called as a free board it's normally for maximum 500 mm and we can see that so uh, it is almost like uh, this space will be uh, like 200 or 300 mm maximum so it's about to say that uh, the tank height should not exceed uh, more than 3.5 meter uh, in that way okay so now here uh, we assumed the tank height and second thing is now we need to know the length and width. Okay, so length and width is equal to the volume divided by h. Okay, I just took the I just can take the volume here and uh, uh, to get the length and width. Okay, so length and width is equal to volume by h. Volume we know that is 3.72 divided by height we assumed as one. So it is equal to meter. Then the area should be selected in considering less quantity of material construction site uh, and site space availability. And meantime we need to see the water requirement uh, compliance. Okay, so here. Two different options like 2 into 2 meter that is 4 square meter and 2.5 into 1.5 meter that is 3.75 square meter. I have selected 2 into 2 meter area uh, even though the tank material, consumption is, uh, tank material consumption is slightly high. I will explain why I did that in the coming slides. So next one is uh, storage capacity. As a based on Karama, uh, groundwater tank should have two days storage capacity and roof tank with uh, one day storage capacity. If you see Abu Dhabi regulation, minimum tank storage capacity one day and maximum two days. This value is with the ground storage tank and roof tank. And uh, particularly for roof tank, it should be sized for 12 hours to 24 hours duration. So for Abu Dhabi, what we can do is we can follow the groundwater tank with one day storage uh, as a minimum and roof tank with half day or 12 hours. So it will comply the requirements. So the next one is uh, tank insulation. Uh, exposed tanks installed outside directly under the sunlight should be insulated or shade area should be provided. Except is like uh, during the long exposure under the direct sunlight like uh, we can feel above 40 degrees Celsius in the summer mainly in the GCC countries. So tank material like PVC tank will get cracked. So some standard like Karama instruct to provide either uh, insulated GRP tank or tank with a shaded area. Okay, But if the client doesn't want to provide the shaded area uh, since the tank is located in the front side of the house uh, due to appearance issue mainly. So that time we can choose only the insulated 
elevated tank instead of shaded area tank shaded area over the tank uh, but mainly we need to verify the local codes to finalize the tank installation okay so i believe that grp uh, sizing is clear so the next one is it's like a pvc tank sizing okay so in the pvc tank sizing what uh, we, we are going to do here is uh, the same capacity we are going to consider 3727 uh, 3720 liter from the earlier workout and it is equal to 982 gallons okay and uh, this one is the uh, the data sheet of a manufacturer so you can uh, the different uh, manufacturer has the data sheet just to verify the tank capacity just to verify the tank available sizes okay so in our case it is 982.72 gallon which is uh, which is between these two these two sizes 800 and uh, 1000 gallon so 982.72 gallon and the next size i am going to choose is 1000 gallon okay 1000 gallon or 3785 liter okay so that's the capacity of my tank but as i mentioned that water supply and firefighting tanks should have two compartments okay so that means i'm going to use two tanks instead of one tank two tank and each tank with the 500 gallons so the total capacity of 1000 will be coming from each uh, two uh, two uh, separate tanks with the 500 gallons so the next one is sizing of rcc tank for example uh, we just consider the daily water demand of uh, 25000 liter we need okay and it is equal to 25 meter cube and you know um, in the grp tank we saw that the grp panel there are some limitation in the sizes we cannot make 1.2 a 2.72 like this type of different thing so we propose 1 meter 1.5 2.5 like that but in the uh, rcc tank there is no issue because we are the people who uh, mean our team in the side team they will prepare the rcc tank in the site okay so there is a no issue but the, the 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 important thing we need to see here is if you propose a size like this different uh, difficult one like 1.28 1.35 this type of thing what will happen it will make the civil engineers uh, a little bit difficult to uh, make the construction that much accurately so it is always safe uh, or you can say like it's a very good engineering practice to go with the standard sizes like 1 1.52 2.5 3.3 3.5 in this way okay it's a very uh, like as i mentioned it's a good engineering practice okay to follow and tank size uh, for this example 25 meter cube is a total area so total volume of the tank effective water volume and height i assume 2 meter so as i mentioned like uh, normally i follow 2.5 meter is the maximum height so 2 meter i consider for the water then you know that for uh, 500 mm we will add later for the um, flow to all installation like like a free board so i consider 2 meter so it will be like 2 plus uh, 0.5 2.5 maximum okay so like that so the area i'm going to find out now 25 by 2 it is 12.5 square meter okay so area now uh, we have two two options are there uh, two or three options also you can propose lots of option but as i mentioned you have to focus on the uh, material consumption okay in, but in here rcc tank you have to uh, we have to see the concrete consumption so we need to reduce we need to try to reduce that material consumption and uh, you have the option like uh, 12.5 we can propose 4 into 3.5 meter length into width so that will make 14 square meter otherwise you can propose 5 into 2.5 so that will make 12.5 square meter so both these cases are complying with uh, our uh, water volume like 12.5 square meter and uh, here again uh, we need to consider the compartment okay so we have to propose two compartment for example if i propose this one 5 into 2.5 it will be 2.5 into 1.25 that means i am just dividing this one by 2 the length and width it will be uh, 2.5 into 1.25 meter okay this is the area and the height uh, we considered here 2 meter the same i followed here 2 meter so this is the effective water volume 2.5 into 1.25 into 2 meter okay further you have to add the free board uh, based on the local course your your local course okay what you see here is the uh, general uh, installation idea for the building uh, we have the municipality line which is passing uh, underground it's underground line which is passing around the buildings and from there we will take the we will get, uh, make the uh, the connection for the buildings it will go to the underground line until here we have the water meters to measure the water consumption and this water meter line after the water meter this line will go to the water supply storage tank and further uh, you know that from the pumps there will be a transfer pump it will go to the roof tank so that like we see in the earlier of earlier we of this video so now so uh, as i mentioned in the starting of the video i will ask a technical question 
So assume this is a office building with a G plus one arrangement, ground floor plus first floor arrangement. Uh, this red line around the building indicates the surrounding wall uh, wall of the building and the left side, right side, and the back side of the building. There are different uh, buildings located uh, near to that. So on the front side, we have the road here. This point is a road point, uh, and second here we have the uh, entry for the building from uh, this level, from the uh, sorry from this point, and. Uh, so water meter uh, as per Qatar Karama regulation should be installed only in the front side of this wall okay from the fully from uh, uh, here to here we have the front side so water meter should be installed any uh, any of this uh, this place in the front side facing the road area okay so we are not allowed to install the uh, water meter in the in the left right or back side because there are some adjacent building so it is not allowed so water meter facing the road is allowed and only this wall uh, is the allowed space to install the water meter so here we have the parking area the parking area uh, numbers uh, have been uh, selected based on the client uh, uh, requirement the number of uh, vehicle has been selected based on client requirement and here we have the uh, underground se uh, safety tank installed here so here you can see this sp this uh, space so this is the only uh, free space available for uh, keeping the water uh, water supply tank and the total area of this total area of this tank is 4 meter square and based on the water demand calculation uh, we need a 10 meter square tank 10 meter square area tank okay then uh, in the back side you can see uh, there are plenty of uh, spaces are free spaces are available uh, like 90 meter square area is available and we have uh, we are using this area for the garden and uh, we can install the big tank here there is no issue for keeping the tank here so now the question here is so as per uh, Qatar regulation and as I mentioned earlier uh, we will install the water meter in this wall anywhere for example we'll, we can install the uh, water meter here and from here uh, and this place we don't have any space so what we can do uh, this is my question actually so uh, the option one what we can propose is uh, after installing the water meter here we will take the line uh, all the way till here and here in the back side we have plenty of spaces so uh, we can propose a, a tank based on the water demand like in this case we have uh, we need 10 meter square area so I can install the water tank here and uh, water meter here and the connection will be from here to here so the first question here is is this acceptable uh, to install water meter here and uh, tank till uh, all the way from uh, to this point so is this acceptable to install uh, this one and if it is not acceptable so what is the alternate solution we can propose uh, for this installation okay so this is uh, this is just a concept only so don't think that uh, uh, don't think like architectural point of view that we don't have enough space for the tanning radius for the vehicle so this is not that much depth so we are mainly focusing on the tank location installation okay so uh, i hope uh, uh, you like this video so please like subscribe uh, for more videos and uh, if you get the answer please uh, put your comment in the comment section uh, then uh, the next video uh, i will make a video for uh, uh, plumbing rules okay that mainly for the installation following the ipc and other codes so in that video i will give the detailed uh, concept of uh, what how we can uh, finalize this project okay thank you bye bye